I'm gonna show you how you can create a custom color scheme in Excel to match any image you choose. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this for Disney's Frozen 2, but of course you could pick any film or even your corporate colors. I don't know, the color scheme in your room. Who cares, doesn't matter. This is the technique and you can use it for any color scheme. Okay, choosing the color scheme. If you look on the page layout bar, you'll see there's a colors button. If you click on there, and you can already see I've got a custom Frozen 2 one there. But if we go to customize colors at the bottom, and what we need to do is put in all of our colors down here. Now you can see we've actually got six accent colors. So we're gonna need six main colors that we wanna pick from. So where are we gonna get these colors from? Well, what we need to do is do a, what I did in fact, Disney Frozen 2 color power image search in Google. Because all we're doing is taking the colors. We're not taking any copyright images or anything. And I actually picked this one here, but you could pick anything you like, as long as it's got six colors. I would avoid potentially something like where the colors are too similar, for example, or too repeating. You need some fairly distinctive colors. If you pick something like this one, for example, I know there's only five anyway, but you'll end up with, these are very similar to each other. So you want something that's got a bit more contrast, which is why I picked this one. Anyway, you right click on it, copy the image, and then you need to go into PowerPoint, I is always a good one. So I'll click a brand new PowerPoint, change the layout to blank, that's non-essential, and paste that image in. And then what I'm gonna do is insert a shape, and you'll see why I'm doing this in a second. And then I'm going to color that shape with the first of the colors. And uh, actually, if I make that shape a bit smaller, and then another one, but this time color it with the next one. And basically do this till I've got all six, the all six colors that I want. Okay, so I've got my colors. Now, what I'm gonna need to do is click on them one at a time and Go to more fill colors and note what the red, green and blue codes are. Because that's what I'm going to need to set up these colors back in Excel. So back in Excel on my colors, so accent one, click on more colors and here you go. Now I need to replicate that exact color that I've got here. So 167, 66, 162. 167, 66, 162. You see it comes up, hit OK. Accent two. More colors, right. So I cancel that. Now, the best way I've found of creating these themes to get some contrast into the system is to go from one contrasting color to another because things like charts, for example, in Excel will default to the first two colors. So you want some level of contrast there. So if we go from that to this one, for example, rather than that to that, we'll get more contrast on our kind of default charts, pivot tables, things like that. So if we move sort of one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, we'd be in a much better position. So looking at that, again, shape fill, more fill colors, we get the RGB, 73, 194, 249. 73, 194, 249, was it? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Right. So I'm going to go through changing all these colors and then I'll come back to you show how you get the rest of them. Right. So I've picked the six main colors from the theme now. So now what I want to do is create my darker backgrounds and hyperlinks, etc. Now there's a little trick that you can do here because what you can do is actually save this theme as a temporary theme. So if we do this, click temp and save it. And then we've now applied that theme. If we now go back to colors and customize, what you'll see is because we've applied this theme, we now have access to all these colors and different shades of them. 
So for example, we can make our background now, uh, say a very dark version of the blue perhaps, which is that. And then the light we can have as a very light version of the blue. Or maybe even lighter still, perhaps something like that. Okay. Uh, for our hyperlinks, we might want again stick with like a fairly dark blue. Like, don't like the way that's not showing up very well on there. So, yeah, we'll lighten it slightly. So, yeah, I think that all looks pretty good. So, I'm going to call it Frozen 2. Um, and we'll call it V2 just so that you can see what's going on. Hope you enjoyed the video and got something from it. There's loads more tips and tricks on Up for Excel, so have a look around and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. See you soon.